crack? We you... wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And thus concludes the singing for the episode, yeah. I think. No, I'm, I've been, I have been. was actually singing this morning. Jerry. Oh, you were singing this morning, John? I was singing this morning. And it's only... I, <laughs> did you ever have a notion that you thought you... Oh, did you... Can you sing? I think I can. Yeah. I would be alone in that thought. I would... I would... I thought I could kind of hold a note. You know that kind of... I... I got I I I've been relentlessly shown that I cannot sing nor dance in the last fortnight. I believe the I believe the correct expression Tom is tone deaf. Yeah. When what you hear in your head yeah. is not what other people hear. But I do you know what it's even I've I I got a comp like to explain to our listeners. Oh welcome. Welcome and happy Christmas. Yes, too, by the way, yeah. sorry. Fuck we just really yeah. went straight in. Straight into a conversation. Fuck it. That's hell, like that was the, the whistle went and it was a double footed challenge straight what away. A couple of fucking assholes. Hello, how are you all keeping? You're very welcome along to the, uh, a, the Christmas edition the for two thousand. Christmas edition of the Tom and Jerry show. Yes indeed, the Christmas special. Look at that. Uh, which really just kind of kicked off like any other fucking episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> straight into it. Just like an even conversation. <laughs> we were just like, like no fucking... straight in. No manners. No manners whatsoever. Well, that's because we're busting at the same. We've got so much to talk about. I actually do. I don't know how we're going to keep this fucking... Uh, I don't know how much time is left on the memory card in that joke. But I'd say we should be okay. I'd say we'd be copacetic. Is there a way of checking that? Oh, there is, no, there is. It's over two hours. So if we keep it on... <laughs> <laughs> say, I'll say we'll keep it at that now If we can keep under two hours We'll be okay The thing won't start freaking out on us But it's Christmas time And uh, like we did last year We just want to do a little Christmas episode For all our followers And yeah. fans To you know To say thank you very much For listening throughout the year And uh, that was about it We're watch. starting to get Even celebrity listeners At this stage Oh are we? We are We are oh, yeah. We yeah, are I've gotten good. compliments Of late from uh, uh, A couple of TV personalities well. And even uh, Rugby player JJ Hanrahan he Holy plays, shit! Yeah, plays, oh, come on, plays, JJ. plays for Northampton. Ex Munster yeah. player. And a boy, yeah. JJ. Yeah, we need more, oh, of, that. more happy, of that. Happy Christmas, JJ. I, yeah, um, I, uh, even doing comedy around like that, Tom. I never get like you probably get recognised a bit because you were on TV and all yeah. that kind of thing. Well, I get I get that recognised because I'm so out of context because I did I was I, I played with a posh Dublin character and the most famous thing I did I was I've done bits and pieces around the place like but. The most famous Dublin. It was a Dublin voice, but people get freaked out, so they don't. Right, they don't, right, right, right. It doesn't. You can see them not computing when they look at me, and they, they look at me like, hey, what? Uh, yeah. Did, Never meet your heroes. Did, well, it wasn't. It's not even that. They don't know why they know me. Gotcha. So, because it's all out of context, my fucking hair is up one side. I'm probably wearing camo. I'm spitting. Fucking <laughs> probably. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, so they always... You're, you're, going, you're, you've got like a bullock on a rope where did uh, I taking not, it down the street. Well, did, oh, did my dad buy a trailer off him back in the fucking 80s? Well, kind of a look, you that know? That is like the a, thing, though. I'm going to say, like, you know, I've been doing comedy for years and years and years. And you've been, uh, like, uh, three three or time you've been on stage in front of a lot of people. Mm. But I've been recognised on the streets by more people who I've sold toilets to. <laughs> in, like, fucking... And, like, where do I know you from? Oh, well... Do you ever go to the, you ever go to a comedy club? No. Did I buy a wooden floor off you and RD? Yeah, you probably fucking did. I heard an amazing one. Just sorry to jump, but I knew I have to tell this. I have to get this out of my system because I'll I'll forget it and I won't think to tell you it. I have to tell you this, and I'm not even sure if I should be telling it on the podcast. But fuck it, it's our podcast. When does it ever stop? And we're to not jump? being held by sponsors, anyways. It's all the fucking <laughs> one. But I heard an amazing thing. Does I I just I this year I, well to get around to it this year I've been enrolled. Um, in uh, the UCH, the University Concert Hall, Limerick, pantomime. Fucking hell. Which I had no... I was excited in one way because it was completely out of my wheelhouse. I've never been to a pantomime. I don't own kids. I know nothing about the fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> you but don't... Oh, you don't... Nobody owns kids, do You own kids, Jerry. <laughs> you own, yeah, you do. They're, they're yours. Not, they're you can horses. have them out the back breaking rocks at your will. <laughs> If you want, they're your slaves until eighteen. Oh, congrats, uh, congratulations on your on your on your uh, on your role in the panto. Yeah, it's very exciting. There's a lot of very 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 skilled fucking people in this. This is showing me like this is putting a spotlight on the fact of how little skills I have. Is this at this, this, this is what we were talking at the top of the show about the singing? Yeah, yeah. this is oh my good. G- Even some got I'm a total crow. You know, everybody's very camp in the thing. Like, and it's but it's, it's like panto. Yeah. And once once my brain got over that fact and seeing a forty year old man in ladies' underwear in the dressing room, once I got around that issue, <laughs> it's not an issue. It's what goes on. It's, but it's, hey, it's you're a professional. It is, is. I may as well be learning to fly a fucking plane right now. I, right. I'm that fucking like yeah, that, I, yeah. I'm, I'm bluffing at that much. But the the stories are fucking amazing. That go about 
celebs and stuff that have done this like fucking I can, mad I can, shit. I, I can see why you would have uh, hesitated and see what if there's or if we were on shaky legal ground here, Tom. Yeah, all of this is hundred percent true. <laughs> all of this is hundred percent. And I, I almost got caught rotten. I was on two FM last week promoting the thing, right? Right. And they, of course, wanted to know about the illustrious and the famous, most famous queen of panto of all, P- Twink. Okay. Which I'm not going to get into on this because we'll be fucking here forever. But the stories about her and she will fucking sue you for a kind of dog food, Tom. It is phenomenal. The stories about like she it's supposed to be incredible, but uh, off stage, just a fucking whirlwind, right? But we were because everybody involved in the show has something. They've all done stuff on telly. They've all done stuff on stages and across the fucking world. One guy just came back from doing it. Like a run in, in South Africa and stuff. Everybody has stories about this thing. And it was just this thing I knew I had to tell McBride about. Whatever else it was. And I was I was picturing your poor fucking face if you had to deal with this situation. So there's one of their, their best friends. Sis, or one of their, their sisters. One of the cast sisters was working for a while in... not It was a high-end kind of... Uh, Bathroom wares and housewares. Okay. Who would that? I like that. Be is that Bangalofsen would be a really high end shit. Like. No, they do speakers and. Is it? That's all they do. When Bangalofsen do speakers and and like telly stereo and stuff. shit. Yeah. And like, and like. Well, it, it was a high okay, end, okay, high right, end one you. of these joints and wanders in. Right? No fucking way. <laughs> and this is a hundred percent true, so he can't get sued on it, right? <laughs> she wanders in now. She's out of her fucking box on whatever. Middle of the day, right? Middle of the day. This is the world. I swear to God. As uber famous people live in, uh, they can wander through life and no, there's almost no repercussions with the mad shit they do. So she wanders in and she says, starts going bitching at you on about something. She's like, well, and where are your fucking bathroom wear? She goes, uh, upstairs. She's up there fu- shuffling around. It's like late on a Saturday. You know nobody being around right. a place late on a Saturday. I'm she well goes storming, with it, yeah. storming down the stairs and fucked a lot of you off out the fucking door with her, right? It's the most bizarre encounter. Turns out she had done the thing you should never fucking do. That you never ever want. I mean, I think we talked about this in the past. If well, we had a good run before we got sued. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't care. This, I had this verified with two more people. I gotta, t- I gotta tell you, I worked in bathroom wears places for a long time, and everyone was. Did anybody said to me, ever shit in the, t- in the toilet? People always ask, do people always shit in the toilet? Yeah. Tom, regularly. Yes. Did they? All the fucking time. Apparently, yeah. This is the thing. Like, was, mostly it was like kids and all that kind of thing. Uh, but there was a few that wasn't. It was, really? was bigger than kids, yeah, yeah. It was just it was one of your jobs in the morning. You came in, you turned the lights on, you hoovered around the place, you put out the brochures, you and checked you for shit. You, you check, check the tiles for shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, See, I thought this only ever happened on L- building like twice sites. or three times. No, no, building sites. No, no. But this is a regular occurrence. Yeah, all the time, people just. Shit. I mean, did you have a staff? You know, did you? Oh have yeah, a we had, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was a real simple job. You just got like you got two buckets. You put one at the back, and another one was water, and you poured it in, and it just flushed itself. And then you threw it out and you threw it out in the air. But the thing is, <laughs> have you ever have you ever in your entire life ever taken a shit without toilet paper? Or no. grass or something. No, to sort out no, the no, no, no. I would always need toilet paper or like yeah. To- I have I I, I, I would say twice in my life I've ever taken a brick. I'm sorry to have taken this the, the, the thing into the fucking gutter yeah. this early on. But twice in my life I've ever just, you know, delivered a brick and nothing, And had nothing. Nothing was That's needed. gotta be misery. It was. There was no payoff. You know what I mean. You you want the fucking process, but it was done like two two needs times. Needs must. In my life. Yeah, needs must. And it it wasn't needed. And I can't imagine if you were that that desperate for a crap that if you shit on a toilet that's just sitting in the middle of a fucking showroom floor, that it's going to be a clean one. So anyway, this is the Christmas episode. Yeah, the we're Christmas in here. podcast. <laughs> Sorry, getting back to the Christmas thing. Uh, God, we fucking wandered hard on that Jesus, one, Tom. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 we went. And it's not like we don't have a wild amount of stuff to talk about. We've got so much to talk about that it's festive because I shouldn't have gone down that rabbit hole. I'm sorry. It was just very, very exciting. Tom, so, we're we're, we're going to edit all that out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> But but, the, uh, but no, it's it's uh, we're here, and as as is becoming Tom and Jerry tradition, we're at a train station. Oh yeah, yeah. Today we're at a new train station. This is the Cool Mine train station, which I believe if you want to go dogging, here's the place to do it. Well, certainly I give all the signs because a silhouette of a Jerry McBride walked down the steps about fucking eighty yards away, and I started flashing the lights immediately. I just got fucking filthy looks by other people. It wasn't Jerry McBride. It wasn't, no. It was just it was... me flashing like a crazy bastard. You're just crashing like, hey, come here. Parked over in the corner of a fucking dark, dark and dark. I got, I got something for you. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the, um, 
one of the more uh, uh, busy dogging spots in yeah. West Dublin. You know, I believe the airport is right up there with it as well. Is it? The airport, like we like to go out with the kids. And is watch dogging it. still going on? Oh god, yeah. We like to go out with the kids to, to the airport oh, just god, to see the uh, no, just you know to, to the runway to see the planes <laughs> coming in and going out. And you can you can spend an afternoon there and have a, have a picnic, but you look two doors down and there's fucking <laughs> there's some car with the wind is all steamed up, and you're like, eat your sandwiches, kids. <laughs> oh, eat your sandwiches. Time to go. Time to rock and roll. Um, we're 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 coming down hard on Christmas now. Uh, it is just around the corner, and uh, we have another Christmas special from last year, which you know if you if you feel like we miss a few things to give yeah. out about, uh, it's probably in that. Oh, definitely. We went hard. We went hard on Christmas last year, com- complaining wise. And there's a lot to to whinge about, but a lot you don't want to get too fucking hacky either, like because every, everybody has a bitch of some sort about Christmas, like yeah. you know what I mean. I mean, this year is going to be weird as fuck for me though. Because I'm not going to get to celebrate Christmas really at all. Oh no, no, you got you got you got some stories to go into there, yeah. Well, you see, this is the thing. Like we talked about it last year. What do you do? Because we we both have missuses from Dublin. We from the country. And do you do this and do that? This year, it's just oh, this is all out the window. Uh, really, it's Tom. Could I could I pause you there? Yeah. Just before we go any further, um, before we go any further, uh, with the show, this day has been long fucking coming. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna rock and roll on with your story now in two seconds. Yeah. But, but this day has long been fucking coming. Mm-hmm. This day has long been coming. I'm looking for a zip here, folks. We, we we are going to need some... We're going to need some refreshment before we go any further. We're going to need... No! You got it! We're going to need some McDade's football special, I'm ladies and gentlemen. I'm taking a picture of that for, the, for Twitter. Where's where's the fucking... Oh, we'll get a picture. We'll get, we'll get it up there. We'll get that it up. Two fucking empty bottles. You actually got it. We got some McDade's football <laughs> special. Uh, that label feels like you made that. It, it's not even stuck on right. It feels like you made it and used po- like paid. Somebody signed the back of it. Like there's who? yeah, I'd, I'd imagine it's McDade himself. A passion. Here's the here's what the label reads, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for very much. We had some people on Twitter that offered to get us McDade's football special next time Where we're did up you in Donegal. Get this? I, I knew a lady and she's going up to Donegal and uh, and she she got it for me. I've I've had this in the fucking uh, in the drawer for like six months. I was just waiting for the right occasion. You know the way with like a bottle of wine. Yeah. I was saving it. <laughs> I was saving it to get out of prison. Oh my so, god. So here's what the label here's what the label reads for McDade's football special. Uh suitable for, it's suitable for Christmas, number one. Well, it's suitable for all times. I'm oh, absolutely, yeah. Christmas, just to maintain some air that this is a Christmas podcast. <laughs> Jesus. A passion for sport, a love of exotic tastes, and the quest for all for the very best in soft drinks, all inspired McDade's to bring you this bottle of football special. Football Special was originally designed for celebrating winning sporting events by filling the cup with an exciting but non-alcoholic beverage. We use only the finest Irish water and our secret mixed fruit formula to produce that unique foamy head. Why don't you celebrate too and watch the magic unfold as you pour the winning taste of Football Special. Well, isn't it lovely to get a, 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 a drink that has a little story on it? Well, I'm going to... Because that intrigued me as they said it is. So there's a definite purpose for it. But I'm going to read the ingredients here because they make it sound like this stuff... Came out of a fucking clo- oh, yeah. a four leaf clover. No, I mean ingredients: it's, it's, yeah. carbonated Irish water. Okay, so he's not lying there. Fair enough. Sugar, well, by Jesus. Uh, citric acid, color, which happens to be caramel. It does look flavoring. like it looks like it looks like a like a light coke. I was going to say it looks like uh, fucking flattened Smithics. Okay, that yeah, that that, that works true. Uh, preservative, sodium benzo- benzoate, sweetener, which is saccharin, foaming agent. Foaming agent through me, Tom. Because there's foaming agent in plasticizer, Jerry, that goes... <laughs> I, I, I think, goes, like, you know, it's a, it's this quill, quillia extract. I think this gives it a foamy head if you pour it into pint glass. Uh, so where is the actual uh, special fr- fruit formula? Oh, it's just fruit, Tom. Mixed fruit formula. Yeah, we're drinking this I'm, or not? No, no, I'm not seeing any fruit in that at oh, all. Oh, well, yeah. No, it's not got berries on it, Tom. It's got sweeteners and shit. Okay, fair enough. Let's do this. Let's do this. Fucking chin chin. Chin chin. There this looks... Go. Wow. Now watch, this could go... You know the way like Cadet always used to blow up even if you hadn't shook it? Hey, maybe Big Dades would want to sponsor us. Not after this, I don't think. Uh, well, what does it smell like? It smells kind of creamy, soda y. I can smell strong chemicals. Yeah, it's never a bad start. Let's then she goes, a, yeah. Have we turned into a fax video? Have we? We're two, <laughs> two countries drink fucking. Tom, I fucking hope not. No. <laughs> oh! That's exactly as you described. That is a defrosted Mr. Freeze. That is, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like sweet. It's like sort of... um. That, why did that make my jaws go sore? 
immediately. The second it hit my my palate, it made my jaws just feel like they'd been somebody oh, rung yeah. my fucking bell with I, a punch. I think that could be fifty percent your jaws, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I like it. Oh wow, uh, yeah, that's fucking something else, Jerry. I'm telling you, I have a case of this shit, so I do. Make the. <laughs> I gave her She goes I'm going up to get McDade's football special I gave her 50 euro <laughs> What? I got like Fucking a notion of this How much How much celebrating Were you thinking You were going to need Like that would mix All right with With a fucking A vodka I think Or a cheap ass whiskey As would most things Yeah that's true actually What am I saying There you go Look at that Now we're talking Now it's a podcast Now it's a podcast I thought you were going to Pull out a couple of cans of beer Or something I was like oh, How are we going to work I, I think this is better it is better. You know what? It's for those celebratory moments where non-alcoholic yeah. repairs. I, I also I love, I love the way uh, on the bottle it says McDade's, the original football special. To, to, not so that Wait, you there can, was another one? Not so you confuse it with like every other football special. I'm going to set mine had. aside, Jerry, for a minute. Because I feel it's actually going to render me... Uh, yeah, I'm going to render end, you I, fucking awesome, Tom. I, I'm going to end up with a fucking stroke or something. I can feel it. My, my jaws immediately just felt like... What the fuck have you just swung into the mouth there, Tom? It is very sweet. I've got a pain in my shoulder now. Um, but I think this could be the on- onset of a stroke, Tom. Oh, what do, what's that you're supposed to smell? Is it burnt potatoes? Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Oh, yeah. If, yeah, if I smell burnt toast, uh, where's the nearest hospital? And, well, i got a toaster here kicking off toast, so don't confuse yourself. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna launch onto the show proper. Proper. Tom has Tom has stories to tell. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Uh, I do. And Jerry, give you the floor, Tom. The pantomime. It's very exciting stuff. Is it good? Uh, what What is the name of the pantomime? It's Tom? Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Um. But and, you're, and 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 go on. Take it away. Take it away. Essentially, I'm playing one of the castle characters because they've. It's it's a really more that is a homage to Beauty and the Beast. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Fucking Disney gave a shit or gave gave the well, rights it was, to it. Because it we're it not was using a... the songs. No. Well, it was a story long before it was a Disney thing. I suppose it was. Yeah, it was. It was a French story. But I play uh, myself and Carlos Spain. We play a duo in it, and essentially, we're both kind of a couple of gobshites. He's kind of the straight man. I'm the funny man of the two, really. Right. And. What it is, is, we could be dropped into any pantomime, but you need these two fellas, really. Like you, you know would I mean? always, you always seem. I've been at two pantomimes in my life, Tom. Uh, one when I was a child and the right height for it, and the other when I was like fourteen and and was like like over oh, it, yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. sort of way. But um, you 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 do need these sort of characters that come out from time to time. Pro- probably, no, I don't want to destroy the magic here and like that. Probably, while there's some sets being changed behind the curtain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. guys will do your bit and, and keep everything taken along, right? Well, the thing is, we're to be kind of... We, we, we're we welcoming Belle into all these things. But it's the fuck... Like the, but it's been a bit more difficult than, I, uh, than I'd planned it on being. Because yeah. I knew it was going to be fucking hard because obviously I can't dance a lick, can't well, Tom, sing a fucking note. But you're not... This isn't your first day um, on a stage. This is this is uh, doubtless why you got this job, right? And I got it based purely on... No, I've never... I've been... Do you, oh, the last time I was on a stage performing anything, I was four years old. But you're on a stage regular with comedy. With comedy, yeah. So you know which way to stand. Exactly, but it is a completely different fucking animal, Jerry. I, I, I didn't think it was going to be, but by Jesus it is. Well, it's... you, I, I would imagine you have to stick fairly rigidly to a script. We now they're letting us off the hook a bit, and they're letting <coughs> us add in funny stuff and funny timing and all the rest of it. And then we do have the timing. We are we're, we're we're quite good with that. Our timing is quite good. But the problem was we thought we'd be really funny men and just start going fucking ad. Oh, just yeah, yeah. And while the director's a really nice guy, he was like, "That's all funny shit, lads." But but you're not finishing on the right word, which will give such and such a fucking opportunity to li- cues. Oh, at the door. We were being so selfish. We thought it was just going to be a two-hour, two-man fucking show, running the whole thing more or less. And like, everybody else is standing. Nobody gets his. any cues whatsoever from the lads' fucking words, so we had to rewind our necks back in. But it's been a, I've been doing the entire thing thing for the last two weeks on extremely strong painkillers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Why is why is this time? Maybe the maybe the painkillers are, are mixing with the footballs. But I would say that's not helping. The painkillers are not helping the fucking initial taste because everything tastes a bit funny with the strong painkillers. I, uh, I I fell over like an old lady and broke my ribs. I broke two fucking ribs. Where'd you fall over, Tom? I fell over. I was down hosting a mid-evening show for Heineken down in Cork. 
Right. Decided to go back to the car. I'll change my shoes because the fuck I was wearing nice shoes. You know the nice oh, yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they were nice shoes. Yeah, wear wearing, nice shoes to nice gigs. To, yeah, this is a nice gig now. So I said I'd go back and change because I was going to hang about because I got to hang out with rugby players from fucking past Mick Galway and a couple of more of them. And I said I'd change into the comfortable. Shoe. Walking back along this fucking path in Cork down two steps. Did I see Tom wearing the good shoes with leather soles? Both feet just fucking shot out like a fucking bullet out of a fucking gun. And went, then went Tom. I had no hope again. I couldn't even get the elbow back in time. Christ. Straight onto the fucking thing. Fuck. And it's, what's weird is they didn't break on the back where I hit. Because according to the doctor, I got these bovine sized fucking ribs on my back for some reason. The energy just traveled around the rib and like a whip action. It snapped out at the front and cracked the two at the front. This used to happen with boxes of tiles that I'd be selling. If you had a box of tiles and you you um you put it into your car, but you put it in flat. Yes, that was not the way. You were supposed to put them on their edge, like standing books. up. Yeah, and that way they were a lot stronger, <coughs> if you can imagine that. But if you mm. put them on the uh, flat, the top tile or the bottom tile wouldn't break. The ones in the middle would break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of shit. They're the ones know? that properly flex. Yeah, they, you know, the top and the bottom could could bounce, but the middle ones were the ones that couldn't go anywhere. So that sounds like your ribs are like tiles, Tom. How so many, many ribs have you got broke? Two. So on two, the same side. Yeah, two of them right, and thankfully no, they haven't gone flying anywhere. They've just cracked nice and fucking clean. But fuck me. Is but, it on this side? Yeah, it's on that side. <laughs> but they, it's not so much the ribs because that's just a sharp pain. On the one spot. I broke ribs. So, it's, broken ribs sucks balls. It's the fucking... Because of the impact, I've got a bruised fucking lung and kidney. And that's a pain in the fucking ring, that is. Yep. Every fucking cough and sneeze. And I'm like a fucking old woman getting out. But the thing was, it was <laughs> it was the fact that I fell over. And we one of our friends talks about this. That people don't go, oh, you stupid fucker, falling over. People were walking by going, oh my God, is, is that man all right? And I was quite literally on my knees gasping. Like, just not even making manly sounds. I was just lying there for five it's, minutes going... <sighs> that, I mean, like, you know, if, if you've ever broken anything in your life, it's, it's never fun. But <clears throat> when you break ribs, you know immediately what it is you've done. Because well, the, I, the pain is just so apparent what it is you've done. And, like, I remember I, I broke ribs. I was, uh, I was like, uh, too lazy to get a fucking ladder, Tom. Yeah. And I got, like, a bar stool to climb up on the thing. It was a oh, bar yeah, stool with a back. Yeah. And my feet went in it and I fell down it and I basically just folded over it like yeah. like, like it clack. Backwards or forwards? Forwards. Right. So just went right down and it cracked and then you could hear the fucking things crack. You knew what was going on. And I remember the first thing I just shouted was just like, Oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh, But that was the thing, there was no, no. there was no crack from my back. <clears throat> so I'm like I, it all felt sore all the way through. So I was like, what the f maybe I've just really bruised myself. So I'm I, I fucked off. Back in the car, back up to fucking Dublin. And I mean, I couldn't sit right. I couldn't. Yeah, it and herself was like, Tom, we probably need to go to the fucking hospital. And this is where my whinge comes in. Not with the hospital at all. They were perfectly fine. I knew there'd be some waiting. It was A&E. You know what I mean? It's fair a enough. It's fair enough. I couldn't stand right any which way, right? And you know it's fucking bad if Tom O'Mahony goes to the hospital. Yeah, I, thought, I was I was still going to give it a miss. I'm like, maybe I can just fucking sleep this thing off. Like, yeah, give me like, a couple of nerve in. I was. It's years and years and years since I was last in the hospital. Last time I was there, I broke my AC joint playing fucking rugby. What's that? That's the little point bit at the top of your shoulder that holds your collarbone. It it it's like a it's like a weld. It holds your collarbone to your shoulder blade, and if that breaks, they separate. Oh, and I broke that, that's and that's up. again the stupid. You can do nothing with that but put your arm in a fucking sling. Um, something's fucking blinking like fuck. Oh, your your oh, bag. It's my, it's my, I've got like little. Um, Jesus Christ! That'd give somebody a fucking. It's and it's it's fucked as well. The switch is gone on it. You have to kind of manhandle it. It's a little light so I don't get run over in the dark dark mornings. Yeah, but so. I'm in there and there's all sorts in there. It, thankfully, it was a nice <coughs> enough evening. It wasn't that everybody was mildly drunk falling around the place, right? But there's, it was a Sunday evening and this guy, this there was a guy in there. It must be mid fucking twenties. He'd been playing rugby. Now, there was a couple of lads in there with rugby injuries. I can imagine. Like I can imagine a lot of these injuries, particularly like you know, particularly like it's Christmas time. It's two three weeks before Christmas. It's winter. I can imagine there was a lot of similar injuries to your own where people just snotted themselves. She'd the seen a lot of them, she said. But yeah. in fairness, that evening there wasn't that many in. But the one, there was this one guy, and I swear to God, it nearly, I was fucking, I was loving the weirdness of it, but it was driving me fucking insane. This one chap, one chap had been in there, twisted his ankle playing rugby. I could see by his jersey, I think it was, it was a Dublin, it was obviously a Dublin team. He was a lovely fella. He was like, ah oh, yeah, this shit happens, broke my ankle. 
off out the door, happy out with his fucking cast. This other guy, right, he'd obviously gotten a kick in the fucking mouth and they'd given him one of those bandages, you know, like... Do you remember the old, like, you'd see guys with toothaches in the old comedies years right, ago right, and right. bandages so around yeah, yeah, his yeah, head, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that was an actual thing. He got he got a kick in the fucking mouth, right, which fucking happens. And But he was so <laughs> Russell Carl Kelly, this guy. It was hilarious. It was fucking hilarious. His old man... Now, this guy's easily mid-twenties. His old man's sitting there going, so, um, so we'll call him fucking Fionn for the sake of it, right? Um, Fionn, um, so mummy's he- has gone back to the, to the clubhouse for all your clothes. He's like, does... And his, his mouth is covered up at this stage kind of a bit. He's like, did she get my fucking phone? Did she get my <laughs> fucking phone? I was... I'm just looking at, at the what guy. What age of a chaos was he? 25, 26, easy. Oh, Christ. Like, if I did that at any age, the old man had knocked the shit out. Like, the doctor comes out and she's like, uh, so that's the most we can do for the time being. We're, uh, we're going to get a specialist to properly stitch the inside of your lip. Probably needs three or four stitches. The guy's right. like, oh, I, to the doctor, I swear to God, he, with his busted mouth, he's like, oh, I'm going to need plastic surgery. Did you know that? I'm going to need plastic surgery. That's a bloody disgrace that I've been made wait. It's like, uh... Oh, it's a bloody disgrace that your dad didn't pay for the VHI then, Yeah, it? <laughs> this is what I was going. I was like, we're watching this guy. You're game. talking good, game. His old man, he's like, uh, you know what? We we need to get a solicitor out of this. Oh, I'm going to sue. Who is he going to sue? Who's he going to... It's a fucking game of rugby, you prick. It's a game a, of it's fucking, fucking rugby. rugby it's not your fault. It's not, it's, not, it's not anyone's fault that your fucking son doesn't oh, know how to take a title. The, the old man was just totally buying all this, like, yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll ring them first thing. He's like, well, ring them now and leave a message so they'll know. It was... This, this sounds like some fucking Veruca Salt shit right here. I'm exact. I'm not joking with you. It was exactly like Veruca fucking... I sat there for 50 minutes watching this guy. It actually alleviated some of the pain in my fucking ribs. Uh, because it was so fucking fascinating to see that still in this day and age, those sort of fuckos are still... Like, how his old man... Didn't fucking drop him with a punch and go. Listen, I'll fucking start that fucking lip for you if you're not yeah, fucking careful. You go fucking buy him a, a, a new uh, a new car. The old man. Make up for the him. last time my old man saw me in any way getting injured, I got split. If my hair was a bit tighter, you can see I have a nice line up the middle of my fucking forehead. Right. I got eight stitches, and the old man said, "He's grand." A friend of his that was there was a vet. He stitched me at the side of the pitch, stuck a lump of fucking vaseline on it, and way back in you went. Oh, way back in to fuck. You be grand. I wasn't concussed. It was a clean split. A way back into fuck. Stick some Vaseline and a bandage on it. I don't know if my dad's ever seen me anyway sort of overly wounded. I remember one about the close... That'd be about was... the only time I'd say he's seen it. Like. The only time I... I remember I got a, I got a thump in Monaghan Town. No fucking better place to get it, I must say. From a cunt from, from dog, Dundalk. No better cunt to give it to you. <laughs> and uh, it was like late at night. I was out on a Saturday night and I got a, I got a clip in a row. And um, I went home... Not knowing I was injured, but of course I'd like a split eyebrow as you mm. would have from a, from a from a fight. And I fell asleep, and I woke up basically stuck to the pillow, like it came with me, you know yeah, that sort yeah, of way. Yeah. So when I pulled the pillow off, it basically started bleeding again. It'd be crusty, fucking. I had a big crusty one, but then when you pulled the pillow off, it all started bleeding. Was again. this a going home for Christmas kind of fight, or were you still living at home? In I was Monday? living at home at the time, right? Um, and I went up to I went up to the sitting room, and they were there for Sunday morning, and I just landed up, and I'm like I'm I'm like. Bleeding from the face here at this stage. Now, it's not a big wound, but it, you know, they bleed like fuck. Yeah. I wasn't overly annoyed about it at all. I mean, I just looks up from the paper and goes, ho ho. Ho ho, yeah. Talking when you should have been listening. And that, that was kind of it. it. Yeah. That yep. was it. That was the, that was the end. The and that's in the all. Answer. And oh. when your young fella gets to that age too, he'll get a fucking clatter some night out fighting. And that's just, because that's the thing too, especially in small towns. Maybe, it probably won't, do you know what happens less probably living in a, in a, a largely populated city? As I know for a fact, if I went back to Tipperary Town at Christmas, and a lot of people would probably verify this listening, that if, you li- if you're from a small town or yeah. whatever, when you go back, those same fucking fuckers that were there, were there, are still there. Only they've gotten a bit fa- fatter. Oh, yes. You know them lads? Yes, I know them. They're I sitting them there exactly. on the same bar stool wearing the same short bed into, uh, bed into it. And after a few pints, they'll go, and who's this fucking big yeah. shot? Uh, where the fuck did you go? It's to? always a Christmas. Christmas fights used to happen regularly when I used to go home when but I was it, younger. I think it's just by, by, by virtue of being back at home for Christmas. Yeah. The, um, you know, it's not like they're, it's not like the fucking first of December comes and they put on their fighting gear. Oh, no, no. It's purely the sight of you after a few pints because you're, yeah. you're wearing a different jacket than the one he saw you in eight years yeah. previous. You you went away for a couple of years and you came back. Yeah, no, I got that a couple of times all right now. But at this stage now in my lifetime, I have the sense to just 
drink me pint and just yeah. fuck off about my business. Would Monaghan be a rough town? It's not really. It's a nice. Well, where I'm town. where I'm from, Carmel Cross is, is is grand. Like you know, it wouldn't be a town that you'd have to really watch it. Well, look, I'm out of it ten years, Tom. It wasn't when I was in it. I don't know what it's like now, but I remember, like you know, there would be you you would be there would always be a fight every Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Someone would kick off against someone else, or there would be someone too drunk or whatever like that. But it wouldn't be the kind of town where you'd get jumped for no fucking reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. sure there's, there might be people uh, listening to this going, I, uh, beg, I, I beg the fucking, car- yeah, I I beg the fucking car- different with you. But like, the, like if you go down to Monaghan Town, probably again, you'd, 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 there would always be the sense that you'd want to kind of sort of watch yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you went to Dundalk or Drogheda like that, again, the sense would grow that, you know, maybe this is a town that you don't run your mouth on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, you know, Carrick, you know, you run your mouth and generally you might get away with it. Tip Town would be people, rough. People, people would join in with you with a bit of crack and then everybody goes home and everybody has Tip a Town used to be rough enough. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, people that had issues really got them fucking sorted. Right. You know, that kind of way. It wasn't rough in that you'd get jumped, typically, but if fucking fights broke out, well, and, and would that be particularly bad around Christmas? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's an influx of population immediately and there's going to be old rivalries. Fucking right, so immediately there's like a like 100 lads back in and I haven't seen you since school. What are you at? Well, fuck you. Yeah, no. quite literally. And it, it happened to me... Uh, probably the last time I was out there, a guy, I think he might have dated the sister or fancied the sister or something. Right, stage right, right. Or something. And he just... Uh, he just picked, took an ocean that we're gonna. This is this is, this is happening. This is happening. I thankfully, thankfully, I was sober enough t- to the point that I was. I saw it coming. I was able to. I was yeah. able, to, able to knock him out first. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the thing, Tom. Like you know, like I've been in rows. You've been in rows and this kind of thing. And you'd be swinging Thompson one thing and another. And and I'm not like I was round all day every day. I've been in very very few rows, but I have been in rows. Mm. And like. I wouldn't have it in me now to... I don't know what you would antagonise me with that I would engage you in a row. Um, it's nothing. I'd just I, be like, fuck off, away with yourself oh, and walk off. That, that's the beauty of getting older. I'm not, like, getting, yeah. I'm not getting that fucking check on my passport. Oh. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I'm going to go and hold this to America. No, you're fucking not. No, you're not. You have a conviction for drunk and disorderly. No, Some bullshit not. like that. So, uh, unless I thought I'd get away with it. But that, but that was... <laughs> I could cleave him. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you thought it was like the Walking Dead, like yeah, you know what I mean, you could just—it was gotta, completely unreprehensible. Like, yeah. look around, like, I'm, I'm all, like, like, hey, I'll put it. There. I'll drop a cunt with a false box, Tom. Oh care. yeah, <laughs> you know, it. it's fucking the, the. But yeah, as you said, like the, that was the major thing that was going on in there, and I thought I was going to see loads of that because it's Christmas time. This well, it's close to Christmas time, and it's it's I've got all the fucking people are going to have. Busted injuries and everything. I was kind of disappointed in that, and that it was. It was oh, like the, uh, Christmas vacation, lads falling off. There wasn't. Ladders, there wasn't. Shit off. I had nobody to joke with, really, in there. I was kind of hoping I was going to. You know, you'd be looking at each other it going. Like, it sounds like it was just like, you know, rugby players' day out. It pretty much was, but this one. Yourself mother, included. This, yeah, well, fuck. Rugby vets. Rug, I'd, be, I'd be what they'd what be known in the biz, Jerry, as an alakadu now at this stage. An alakadu? Uh, what is that? word. A, an alakadu is. Yeah, you never heard that no, word? No, what is that? An alakadu would be the blazer wearers, basically. Hang around in the clubhouse, talk, <laughs> talking about the good old days, and still loyal to the old fucking jersey. Do you have a, do you have a blazer, Tom? I have a blazer, Jerry. Yeah, I do. Fuck I do. Sake. I have two blazers from two different teams. I do, but no, I wouldn't be an Alakadu. I don't hang around clubhouses and whatnot. I don't know, like, Tom. No, I, I think it sounds. I have enough you know, to be doing. I'm in a panto, Jerry, wearing you're makeup. You're in a panto, wearing makeup on a fucking daily basis these days. That's uh. Well, do, no, you, do you have to dance in the panto? They called it dancing, Jerry, but then I got to see what actual dancing is and what myself and Carl Spain is doing are is a series of steps. Oh right, okay. In and around direction. Wait, is it like Kaylee? Uh, no, it's not it's a lot of it is can you you know that like the one of the songs is putting on the Ritz. But so so you fo- you know the way your shoulders just start to move and just there? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what our dancing is. Mm-hmm. This is no good for listeners to but if if you imagine putting on the Ritz, putting on the Ritz, that that Tune, yeah. That tune is written for people to kind of trot. We trot like dressage horses like, is what we do a lot of. Yeah, that's essentially what we do. But it looks good when a lot of other people who know what they're doing are doing it well around right. us. But then you have... I say boys won't get away with it for you. Then you, have a, then you have a team of six really, really fucking good pro dancers behind you. You want to see these kids fucking move. I call them kids like they're on 18, 19, 20. Right. They're astronomically good. Like... We'll, you'll have a choreographer up the front going so I'm thinking this next bit and she'll like throw in like n- fucking nin- right, yeah, yeah. ninja moves and like nine nine fight combinations and whereas we're going whoa 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 go, oh, we'll, go, we'll, go we'll, fucking we'll, we'll, go hang back on, hang on, hang on. 
all of them will just click and go. So it's a da, 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 turn, twist, turn, turn, tuck, tap, tap, lift, leg, twist, and pa. You either have it or you don't. And they all have it immediately. They're like fucking ninjas. And yeah, well, if you don't have it, then you're fucked out, and I'm sure someone else. Oh, no, they, they all had to audition for this. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. they all have yeah. massive credentials behind them. But it was, yeah, so we've been, uh, it's been, that's been fucking intense. I, and it does, like, nobody, like, there was no shock on anybody's face when they were, it was like, there was no sympathy given for having broken ribs. Really, there, right, was, there yeah, wasn't. Because yeah. this is the other thing. The fucking amount of injuries that happens in this shit. Like, because you're pegging it around and you're doing it. This isn't just for a one off X Factor performance. You're doing this 24, 25 times over a period of Bollocks. like 15, 16 days. That's tough going. It's fucking heavy weather already, man. Like, there's been one day off in the last 17. Holy shit. Yeah. And you yeah, took yeah. time out to come record this. Right it's, it's, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. We're not, we're not gonna. Not gonna not going to do a, a, a Christmas So we're practice. recording this a couple of days. So by now, by the time this one comes out, I'll be one day of the actual show. And people can, can go see it, right? They can come see us at the UCH, our University Concert Hall, Limerick. You can see it. This is the thing. Where can you get tickets from? Come on. Get, we never get, fucking just plug go, stuff. Yeah, go straight to the University Concert Hall um, website and just look for Beauty and the Beast. I'm not joking with you. When I looked at it and I looked at what, what I know now about Panto, our Panto in Limerick is actually the most stacked card. Oh, I... Of fucking... Like, I would, I'd be one of the lesser-known fucking names on it, like, in the biz. Oh, shit. It is fucking stacked. <clears throat> they are, like, because they have a thousand-seater, and last year, they sold 24,000 fucking tickets. Holy shit, man. Every single night That's going to be a good one. Yeah. Every single day give it, give, it, give it one of them fist yep, You fucking you rock and roll, pal. Don't break any more ribs, all right, pal? No, it's all right. It's all right. Anti-inflammatories, a lot of spraying at the side at the sidelines there. A lot of the magic spray. You know the magic spray? The ma- ma- magic spray. Well, you got the got, cold magic spray. you got to introduce some McDade's football special into this. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I swear to God, I, I'd love to bring it in tomorrow if, you, <clears throat> if I had more of this stuff. Just to see what it would do to pr- prime athletes like the dancers. <laughs> Just to see how fucking wild it would send them like. The, the Limerick Panther was cancelled. It's cancelled. Two of them have had strokes at 18 years of age. I'll have another swig of this stuff. That's good stuff. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, that is good stuff. <clears throat> oh so, crap. Given that it's Christmas, Jerry. Yes, Tom. And we, you you had a really good idea about this. And I suppose... And we haven't actually... I mean, we don't complain as much as we used to. Because I think we're getting... As we're getting more crotchety, this is good for us. We're venting. Well, it's like I say, Tom. Like, it, 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 people might be saying, like, you know, where's all the segments of the podcast? We're doing a little different. It's Christmas. I know, it's Christmas. It's, it's loose and don't, don't worry. We'll, we'll be back. We'll yeah, be... We, we can do that all day, every day. I'm after losing my cork. Oh, no, here we are. We're back. We we're back. We're back. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're changing up a bit, like, because it is Christmas. So we Christmas. can let our hair down. Like, we... We're going nuts. We're at a different train station. We can do whatever the fuck exactly. we want. Exactly. We're drinking football fucking special. It's uh, it's rock, pretty fucking it's special. It's rock and roll, Tom. So you, you made a good suggestion for, for just chatting and whatnot that we get each other an actual present. I don't know the last time I actually got another man a present in my life. I know. It feels weird. Oh, yeah. You're not my dad. It feels kind of odd. It feels kind of strange. Like, uh, Sarah was like, what, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a, a present for Tom Bear. Yeah. And she goes, oh, that's cute. I was yeah. like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In fairness, though, if you were her, you'd say, the, you'd say the exact same fucking thing. you go, oh, Jesus, you're going to marry him now. So we said, we, we, we basically said, look, we'll get each other a little Christmas gift and we can talk about it on the podcast in this segment. So Okay, do you want, mo- yeah, so, I mean, what, what do we do? Let's go. We'll call this, we give this a name, <clears throat> the, the, the Boys Exchange Gifts. That's yeah, the, the Boys name. Exchange Gifts. So do you, you want to do you want to give your one first? We talk about it and then I give over my one rather oh, than us two. Yeah, we we'll talk about your one first. So all right, Tom. Uh, I got you a little thing here, uh, and th- this wasn't big money spent. This. I hope you didn't get me like a CD player or anything. No, God, no, 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 no fear not. Uh, it must be said, Tom. I've wrapped this very well. I like it. Is that wrapped? That is so retro. That's probably really hipster now. That You've is wrapped uh, it with elastic bands <laughs> and, and, and an A four page. A page out of a fool's cap chatter. My God. <laughs> Ash, was it Ashling or the one? I don't know what it was. Or yeah, Premier. blue at the front. I don't know. It's Premier. I just ripped it out and, and wrapped it up, and it was just basically on me. I says I can't hand them on this. Um, oh, I wrapped your. Well, I say I didn't wrap it. Natasha wrapped it. All right, okay. Sake, like well, she, already, already, I'm at, at shame because I wrapped this on the way out the door. Oh, I was just like. Fuck. To be honest, I would, I wouldn't have been surprised if that came out of your pocket just unwrapped. Yeah, because I, it would have done with me. Only Natasha went. What, what's wrong with you? You're giving a present for fuck's sake. What? Well, you know, I guess. Uh, I guess I suppose if Sarah had seen what I was doing, uh, she would have uh, she would have said, "Don't give it to him like that." No, quite clearly. You see, I bought it the day Natasha was with me. She had to get presents for people at work or something like that. Now, hey, whoa, Jesus! We happened to be where I don't know where the fuck we were. It was another one of these fucking places, like shopping centres, and I have to get something for the podcast for Jerry. 
and that was the reason why she was on board. She went, "You have to wrap that. You understand?" I went, "I what?" Yeah, look, you, see, this is this is this is the point of my little fool's cap jotter thing here. You don't have to wrap it. No, thing. you don't have to. You don't wrap have to enough. spend more on the fucking. If it comes out of your pocket, then, if it comes out of your pocket, that's unwrapping in its own right. Forget about it. So here you go, Paul. All right, right, thank you very much. Here you go. So these are elastic bands. I'm very excited. Yes, indeed. Is this a Thomas tank engine? It's not, but you might not be far off. <laughs> this is awesome. I fucking love it. That is... A Swamp Rat. A Swamp Rat. That is a 1978 Matchbox Swamp Rat, which a lot of boys in the 80s had. I certainly I didn't had have one. one. I didn't have one. Did you know anybody no, that had one of them? I did, yeah, and I was jealous of it. It was... Uh, it was What it is for, for anybody that's... Uh, that's Obviously, it's, it's hard to see this on a podcast, but it's a little Matchbox boat. Well, we'll take a picture of it. We'll put we it up on the indeed. Twitter page. But for now, it's, it's a little Matchbox boat. Like a like a like a like a propeller boat like you'd see it's on a swamps and the Indian. Florida swamp boat, the swamp, yeah, yeah. The Florida swamp boat, but it's got like a little, it's got a little gunner on the front of it, and he swivels round and round. Oh, he swivels around to uh, to 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 fucking cap fools, and it was part of uh, it was part of like a little army line that Matchbox came out with in the early eighties, and like a lot of people I knew had these things. I certainly had one, and uh, it got fucking up with the dog or some such. This is in immaculate condition. Well, it's not bad, Tom. I was pooching around looking for, you know, as I've said before on the podcast, I was pooching around looking for wee trains and things like this for uh, my kid in antique shops I and such it. like. And I fell across a swamp rat and I said, fuck it, Tom likes his camel. Uh, and perhaps he, <laughs> yeah. if he hadn't had one as a child, fuck it, he has one now. Uh, yeah, I'm del- this is actually, I, I should be bringing back memories, but I had all, I had a lot of army men. Um, which are t- it continually went up people's toes and stuff walking around barefoot but I definitely definitely never had a swamp rat before the, the thing with this one here Tom is that you were asking is it in good condition and such like it isn't it isn't there was another one that was beside it right what do you mean for the same price that was in worse condition because the propellers on it were chewed were you, did you ever chew shit as a child Tom? all the time yeah what was the fascination of that? Don't know. If it, was was soft, if it was soft plastic, it was getting It was teeth. getting chewed. Yeah. And the propellers on this little thing are just like, if you were a child, you would chew They are. I, that's the thing I can't believe because you said it's 19, what, 73? 1978. 1978 and those propellers are still there. Like that was taken off a child. There's no way a child yeah. got to play with that. I mean, how you can tell this one was, was, was got for a child is the wee man's gun is, is broken. Ah, but that could have been just stood on too, Jerry. It's, I mean, it's, no, like, it's because it's because little man twists like this, and you can see what would happen there that you would break off the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, it's very hard to get one with, with the full gun with on the it. full gun on it be, uh, because of that. But look, Tom, even this thing in a box is like fourteen euro. Oh my god! You know, like brand new, immaculate in a box is fourteen euros. I got this here. It was marked at eight. I talked him down to a fiver. Uh, hey. That's what you worked to me, pal. Yeah. Well, you had said that. that be, <laughs> I told him that. We, we'd, we'd, go for, we'd go for cheap fiver gifts. There's a, there's a couple of things I want to... I want to help you get as much enjoyment out of this swamp rat as you can, pal, okay? So there's a couple of things i got to bring you up to speed on first. Yes. Okay. Number one. Do you see this bit here? Yes. That does not turn. Okay. It, so not, do not was, attempt to turn was, the engine. It was this lower, is like the engine bit. It was lower of the playground that you could turn that and it would go itself. Okay, for, for people that... There's, there's another black piece. You'll see it when we put the picture up. There's another black wheel that looks like it might be able to turn. Yeah, I definitely thought that could turn, all right. But there was a notion that you could use this to wind the toy up. Okay. And it would go. But you could never wind up Matchbox. No, you could never do. Why people thought this, I'll never fucking You could know. never... Ma- never Matchbox, happened. Nothing. nothing. So people had it in their heads that you would wind this up and the thing would go itself and the, it it was the uh, it was the it was the big thing with toys in the eighties. It'll go in the bath. Yeah, 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 yeah. That but sure, that clearly didn't go in the bath because it still has a swamp rat sticker up the yes. side of it. And it wouldn't go in the bath because it wasn't made to go in the fucking bath. Tom, it was made to go in the ground. All right. No, that definitely would. You yeah, know, th- there's nothing on that that would tell me that. That not yeah. There can, was nothing. Even I remember buying. I remember getting one of those like fresh out the box, and that nowhere in the box did it say. Travels on land and water or <laughs> anything like that. It it didn't say wind the thing and and, and and it'll go. So what I think how my mind broke was someone at school insisted that you could wind this thing up, and I pushed it too far and I snapped the fucking thing off. Right. That is a so str- you know not to do that. If that was a real motor, just looking at how many fucking cams are on that, that would be one of the most vicious, viciously powered fucking motor. Like that is. That engine there is straight out of fucking Rolls Royce fucking... Uh... Well, I'm going to tell you, Tom, the whole fucking toy is ludicrous. There's no way any army on this planet would give one soldier an entire vehicle of himself. He's going to... And there's nothing to protect him. He's going to get shot straight away. And then the whole vehicle... Well, he's going to be travelling at about 700 miles an hour. Yeah. Across the... It's ludicrous. With the engine on that. 
But I fucking love it. That's class. The other thing I want to tell you before you go on, just to aid your enjoyment of this toy, I think you stick it on your desk and do whatever the hell you want. It. Um, it, 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 it is, a, it, you're correct in saying it has its Swamp Rat sticker over here. Uh, I don't believe it had a sticker over here. If you feel that that's sticky there, that's what the price tag was. Just in case you think there right, was another Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another rumour in the playground. <laughs> that this toy was, if you put bacon soda here. Where, in around the man? In around the man, it would go in the bath. And what this was based off was, did you ever get those like submarines in the, in the Kellogg's cornflakes? This uh, sounds really familiar. Just like submarines are boats. And you'll put a little bit of baking soda in it. Yeah. And it would create, like, it would fizz in the water. Yeah, it'd be enough and a bit of a fucking exhaust out the back of it then. It was... And it would travel across the bath. Yeah. And there was the notion that this was what this little well here was for. That you would fill that with baking soda. Again. And it would go. No, so, it doesn't no, fucking it's happen. Yeah, you would never, ever get that. Never, ever. And nothing on the toy suggests that it would do that. And again, it'd be like, man, can I have baking soda? What do you want it for? I want to put it on the toy. No, you're, you'll only make a mess. I want to put it to go on the bat. And there'll be a row, and eventually you get away, and the thing would sink, and it'll be all mucked up with baking soda. Let's see if it just sits there nicely. That sits there for a good. It's fucking grew there, Tom. Look at that. And there you go. It sits in front of my clock. Swamp rat. A real caramel swamp rat. Well, I, yeah, I was trying to think, and there's, I mean, there's, this one probably sums you up more than anything else. Uh, yeah, there's, you'll you'll see the, the two utilities of it. <laughs> this one is proper wrap, folks. Yep. It's lovely boo wrap. It's proper wrap, and it was a, it was actually a good price, but it was actually reduced at the time, so it got down around the six quid mark. Sweet. I think. So, but you'll you'll it's see good. by it. It's weighty. I like it. It's weighty. Yeah, it, it has weapon oh, weapon weight. Oh, it's got weapon weight. Yeah. Yeah. What have we got here? It is. <laughs> it is a bottle opener, but it's the most fucking badass bottle opener. Isn't it? I have ever seen I know in you typically my drink, fucking drink life. cans But it's a It's a G-clamp Basically It's a, the old style G-clamp That you'd hold wood together That you're just after gluing But you can put this straight It opens up to your average size worktop Yes You can put it straight onto your worktop Lock it on there And for the whole fucking rest of your life Do you know what the, do you know what the fucking good thing About this thing is Tom It's, it's solid It's man. got weight to it doesn't it It's that got was weight like, thing You that fucking clock somewhere with this But you know it's, it, That's going to pop any bottle Like it's not going to fucking shit the bed The first bottle No you put no to it, no like. um, That's a real G clamp Isn't it It's a real That's a real G clamp Yeah um, And uh, not only is it a real G clamp uh, It's just that someone had a G clamp And all they've done is Is cut a little beak And that's the, the back of it. of it Yeah That's it how cool is that? That's fucking badass. Because I figured you like hardware and you like beer. So this, these two fucking things. And you have a workshop. There you go. And with you, I figured you like real camo. And, exactly. And I'm and in toys. a toy shop. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking badass, Tom. This will get serious use. Because, of course, I'm doing my uh, I'm doing my, um, uh, my St. Stephen's Day challenge again this year. Oh, well, you're going to sit down and drink a full slab? Yeah, well, look, the slab has kind of... Would you drink a full slab these days? Because you don't no, drink as much as you, as you used to. No, uh, last year I drank uh, rather than. Uh, and yeah, you're yeah. running a lot now, and that when well, that when you get fitter, well, that um, uh, that that reduces your ability. To I don't have harder. no tolerance whatsoever for those for you that missed last year's uh, podcast, uh, Christmas podcast. What I do on a St Stephen's Day is I drink a set amount of alcohol. Uh, yeah. Such as uh, for several years running, I would sit down and drink a full slab of cans, which was just that's impressive. And anybody get up at eight o'clock in the morning. And just chug a can every half hour as the day <laughs> progressed. And like you know, if you felt if you felt like you wanted to sleep in the middle of the day, you could sleep in the middle of the day. And basically, you, it is you, glorious when you think about it. It's like just so to good. kind of just straight away. Because I mean, how fast did the drink hit you at eight o'clock in the morning? But the drink doesn't hit you. Like if you're if you're only sort of sipping away at a can, you're just kind of yeah. But you're in a nice state of inebriation. You're in a nice state of inebriation pretty much the whole day, rather than taking six pints. If you go out and have six pints between nine o'clock and eleven o'clock when you're on your year. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sort. Um. So what's the plan for this year? Well, I wasn't. I knew I wasn't going to get that last year. Yeah, I was no in no way. Shit, I wasn't match fit for. So I just, I, I, I you can't just, just said, walk into drinking a slab of fucking no, cans. Can't. No, no, that's serious business. You got to be preparing for that shit for six fuck. months. So what I did last year was I drank twenty bottles, uh, a box of twenty bottles, like oh, the twenty f- bottles of Miller that you get. Yeah, go in them, and that's what I'm gonna do this year. And this thing is gonna damn sure help and me open. They those do some have, bitches. they do have, they have softened it like they put a uh, kind of. An, so it's not gonna two, mark your. Uh, no, it won't. They've put two nylon little tabs on the inside of the fucking the actual clamp and the little jaw co- coming up, so it won't wreck the old coffee table if you decide to bring it, bring it into the sitting room and put it in front of you. Fucking Pretty wonderful. much, this has lessened your movements, Jerry, but other than actually having to just. 
Do you know, know, unless do you know, somebody can go to the jacks and take a piss for you. Do you know what this is, Tom? And I'm trying to. Re- I know how much you like. <laughs> you like to go into your little den on a St Stephen's Day and do nothing. This is reduced time walking places. What this has done, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this podcast. This has given me the ability to open a bottle of beer with one hand. You've freed up well, a hand. What? Yeah, Jesus! I You've freed think, up a hand for the whole think, fucking day. How much is that? Like that? How much is that added to your day now? It's gr- immensely. It's like do you know what? It's you it's, can it's have like, one um, hand into the bag of fucking crisps. Because that's, that's what they have. That's what they have in uh, in pubs and such. Like they don't have. Uh, you never see a barman opening a, a a thing. Oh, I did. A fucking I did. I did in a certain well, have... well known club in town. They decided we'd give all the barmen a springy cable. And you can see it nearly taking the fingers off the fucking barman. He's degloving himself with the, the fucking... Oh, for fu- r- Rather than just having the usual... And of course, the, where did the fucking all the lids go? Somebody's got to sweep up all the lids. Yeah. Rather than having the little fucking, you know, the little purple catcher yeah. that catches them all. Yeah. I, I don't know what you're going to do with your... Maybe we can formulate a little cu- catcher to go underneath that at some stage too. I'll worry about that so You're not going to stress about it. Not I'm in St. Stephen's Day, really no. not too much. But yeah, I can open... I can have. I can be like a barman. I can have two bottles and be like... K-tch, k-tch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one in either hand. That's Christmas. Look at that. And this is in French as well. Le bon utile pour le bon travail. How exciting this! What is that? That 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 that, le bon... tr- that translates to you. You the right tool. The right tool for the right job. Is that it? Not not far off. It's I was going to say it, it, le it, bon tra- utile pour le bon travail. Yeah, the right, the right uh, tool for the right job. Oh, I, th- I thought it directly travail. translated to you only need one hand for this, boss. <laughs> <laughs> made from cast iron, Tom. Look at this fucking. It's thing. actually made from cast iron. Yeah. Well, you can feel the weight of it. It does you feel sure like cast can. iron. We'll take a picture of that too and put it up. Fucking rock and roll, designed by Suck UK Limited. Well, I'll tell you, this product certainly does not suck, Tom. God such bless. A for, such a name for a company, Suck UK. Fair play, Tom. There you go. They it's fucking depicted the they went with it. Damn right they did. Damn okay. Because we talked last year, uh, Tom, about uh, ideal presents for people, uh, and. Um, what we were talking about was like uh, car insurance and shit like that. Oh this. Jesus Christ! Yeah. And remember, we were I could do with I could actually do with somebody buying me tax right now. I could do with taxes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I could. I, do you know what I could do with like? I could do with a tire. Well, and my tires are good because I got them cheap off a guy that does the you know the car company I work for. Every right, right, yeah, yeah. He do, did me a deal, but driving up the fucking road, I can't reach around now because the fucking ribs will just start fucking roaring at me. But basically, I, I'm after cracking the top off my fucking front coil spring on the passenger side. Do you know the suspension springs, the big ones? Yeah, yeah. Hit a fucking... You know you know when they're doing roadworks and they just decide to chop fucking four inches down into the road? Of course road they do, yeah. And don't, fu- and don't tell you about it. Well, that's what they did. They didn't put a fucking spray mark along it. Nothing. Dropped and off the fucking thing. Clunk. Next thing you can hear a clunk and just crack the top inch ring off the fucking thing. So one of them has got to go in on Saturday morning. Much is it? Uh, the whole job is going to cost me about 140 quid. I have to get, I have to get that done, you see. I've, I've got... I know where I've got my suspension in the car... Every time I go over like a bump, it, it sounds bumpier than it should be. Well, you might not have, no, I would imagine then you might have gotten away lucky. You you probably haven't c- cracked a coil spring. I just got really unlucky. Aye. What you most likely need to do is change the bushings, which are just little rubber lads. Aye. And they're only about 650 each. The, and the job itself would probably cost about 100 quid though. I'm really that lucky, Tom. You, well, if you crack the coil springs, you'd be paying way more. Hey, don't forget, this is a Christmas podcast. So if oh, you, yeah, I know. If so. you crack a Christmas coil spring... <laughs> <laughs> them festive coils it hasn't huh? been it's been it's been uh, unfestively fucking warm too. yeah it's been quite it's been quite I was warm, prepping yeah. I thought I'm being a real good fucking man here I still had a bit of tread left on the tyres I didn't leave them this year go all the way down to the fucking wires like I did last Christmas I went ahead and I got fa- I got Bridgestones fucking expensive tyres put on the fucking front I got, of this I, thing I, I got, in preparation uh, now I will say I did a gig up in, in Derry or not in Derry why am I saying fucking Derry up in Letterkenny Right. A couple of weeks ago. Which is pro fucking practice. And Mother Divine Jesus. There is a like there was a temperature drop of fucking nine degrees between Dublin and fucking Letterkenny. Yeah, yeah, I well, needed good fucking tires up there. There was snow on the side of the fucking road. Yeah, I mean like I, I swear to god, I got I got relatively good tires. I just need one. Yeah. To have a, to have a set of four good tires, I'd need one. Oh, okay. Alright, so you've got three good tires. Yeah, but like try to sell that to the missus. What do you want for Christmas? Honestly, sweetie. I would like a fucking tire. I could totally do with that. I could do with a tire. Yeah, I could totally do with that. No! You're getting a jumper. Oh, Jesus. More pajamas. Great. Lovely. Great. Yeah, like, you know. And, no. like, do you know, do you know uh, what I'd really like? And I'm gonna, it's one of these things I've been meaning to buy for myself. Yeah. And nobody could ever, ever possibly fucking uh, think about this because I've never voiced it ever. A service for the car. No, not even a service for the car. It's a very simple thing, Tom. I need about. I need about four foot and nine by three. 
Jeez, that's four foot of nine by three. Yeah. What are you making? Like a big cheese board or something? No, I'm like, did you ever do like uh, deadlifts and things like that? Yeah. And, and wait, and do you know the way that sometimes you'd, you'd put a board underneath you so you're higher so you have to stoop yes, lower? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that sort of yeah. way? And, I, and I, was at, I was at that and I goes, I'd love a fucking board for this. I've and got a scaff- couple of scaffolding boards at home if you want one. Ideal. Get... But not the long planks now. I cut it in half of a skill saw, sure. No, yeah, well, we'll be four see. foot of it then. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, but that'd only be nine by two, wouldn't it? They're nine by two and a quarters. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye out for for nine by three, and I've been like, you I'm, could cut, I've been, you could I've cut been, it in half and fucking I, nail I've, it together. You know what I've been doing, Tom? You'd have a nine by four then. You know what I've been doing? I've been driving past skips that aren't on the way home. That's an old chestnut from fucking McBride. I've been, I've been driving like if, if I see a skip outside someone's house. Oh yeah, I'm like, oh, you got any sleepers in that? I tell you one thing, you'd find it hard to find a nine by three. You, you get really a, will. You get yeah. a nine by four. You a bit of a sleeper or something. Or you like might that, get yeah. a nine by two, but getting a nine by three. It's as odd as two left boots. And I and I want. I enough, tell you, fucking, I want enough that my feet are widening. I'll tell you what. another one, and this is probably going off the fucking cranky thing that I don't. I shouldn't be going off of again. I'm about to get real but cranky. But Duns, so Duns has lost the fucking run of itself altogether. Do you think Duns is good? Do you think Duns? Duns think Duns has got notions? The fucking notions. I don't know what in the name of fuck is after. Duns used to be the place you get a fucking pack of jocks. Right. Like, all right, fucking pennies is an animal pit at any fucking point. <laughs> when you win, so you'd you'd pay the extra euro typically. Duns has gone. To fucking BT prices And do you think That's a bad thing Yeah but the stuff Isn't fucking matching Jerry But they have like A load of designer stuff And all that kind but of crap But it's only designer If fucking somebody Fucking says it's designer like. you know, You're not designer Until somebody loves you But I Alright How designer is a fucking Is a chopping board For 60 quid They don't have a chopping board For I'm 60 quid I'm telling you here now know? I'll fucking show it to you I'll show it to you I'll, I'll, I'll put a link up I'll find it again I'll put a link up On the fucking page There is a chopping board It's uh, It's a 9 by one Polished bit of fucking walnut or whatever. Yeah. And it's varnished. And that's it. They put no handles in it. They have put, like, I'm not that fucking handles would push it over the edge and make it worth 60 euro. <laughs> but it's just a fucking lump of fucking wood. I will say, I will say this for Duns now. I did notice that it got fierce fancy. Oh, it's got, it's gone up there with the M&S, basically. It it's, really has. Yeah, it's gone yeah. up there with M&S. Which someone, is, someone is, someone, like, you know, I can't really knock them because someone up in management in Duns or whoever's like uh, over. It, what would that be like The director or whatever Just You know what lads This isn't a race At the bottom anymore Yeah I know I get <clears> you I get you But they could have Staggered it a fucking bit They did they it overnight had, Like I walked in there The other day And I don't know I went in to get Another bit of fucking fish Or something And it was just Because they do have a The one near us Has a fucking right good deli And they do have yep. I was over the other day And there was nobody Manning the free cheese station By Jesus They were sorry I can tell you <laughs> <laughs> I wiped them out Of fucking cheese <laughs> Christmas cheese. But I said, you know what? I'll get a couple of shirts when I'm here. Because you're, you know. Right. Can't and go wrong. The, they've got lovely stuff. Uh, can't go wrong with a done shirt. It's not going to cost you more than 18, 20 quid. That's all I need in this you stage. You thought. I'm not joking with you. The starting price of the shirts I picked up was 85 and 90 euro. Fuck. Like, that's big fucking. That's, that's big, a big jump. That's a big jump for duns. That's a big jump. Whatever, whoever's fucking name you want to put in it, that's a big fucking jump. That's, that was a big jump. I will say, like, uh, we get a lot of kids, a lot of kids in it. We get a lot of clothes for the kids in it. And it, they're like ni- it's nice stuff and it lasts. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's fair enough. If it lasts, then it, because I'm thinking, because yeah, the kids' clothes you wash it like literally every day. All right. Right. Because you see, I I thought that okay, so the standard has gone up then. So oh, it has. It's just I think okay. like, it's it's this sort of thing. It's like it's like uh, it's like the lad from town that got a good job. All oh, right. You know. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. got a good job, and you know what he did when he oh, got a good job, football Tom? Football special. You know what he did when he got a good job? Uh. He, he fucking bought himself a lovely car, a brand new car. And you know what else he fucking did? What did he do? He started like dressing nice and all this kind of thing, and everybody sort of goes, "Fuck that guy." Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, I, I've had. I had. Oh, a... like, don't get me wrong. Like when I go in and the 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 the, the fucking week's shop all of a sudden comes to a hundred euros. That's when I'm like, oh, no, no, no. We need to be winding this back we in. We need here. to yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. we need to step back a little. Well, I, I, well, if I, if I had more, to, like, I've had time to do the the, the the weekly shop before, and I, I like shamelessly go to the, I'll go to three or four different fucking yokes. I've done that. We, but like for the big Christmas shop, what time? What will you do? Oh, oh but sure, this this year I'm fucked. Oh, all right, you're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Shit out of it. I'm, I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna get the nutri bullet and fucking grind down some fucking turkey and just drink it and, and just drink straight it. back straight back to work. I've 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 found that our our weekly shop takes in like three different places. Well, like Dunn's, Tesco's, and Aldi. 
By and large, we'll get like a Tesco shop delivered because that's so fucking handy. Is it? Oh my! Because I see the trucks Jesus and I've never Christ, done that shit before. That's handy. Holy fuck! Uh, but then we will also get our day-to-day stuff in Duns because there's a Duns beside us. There's a Duns right there. So when we need, we go there. We need food for the kids. We go there. Right. You want fresh food? You go there. And then generally, like you know, you might throw in an Aldi or a little shop in there as well. Yeah. Just for bits and pieces. Bits and pieces, Tom. Well, bits, oh, I know the bits and pieces. All of a sudden, bits and pieces cost you 30, 40 euros. You know? Yeah, I know. How many go, fucking bits did you get? Yeah, you, went, you go in there for fucking 49 cent sprouts, you come out spending 25 quid. How did that happen? Why did I buy a rocking horse? <laughs> I don't need new insoles for my shoes. <laughs> I'm not even going skiing this year. What do I need ski boots for? But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, like, you know, and you, you find yourself shopping more at Christmas. We got, the, we got the Christmas shop sort of started. We got, like, a... Uh, we got like a, 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 a box of roses And I'm done Tom I'm fucking done I'm done I'm With not, chocolates? Yeah In it's, general or it, just roses? In, it, in in general I made a pig of myself on roses It's like two weeks into, into December Yeah we got a box of biscuits the other day And herself found me in the corner Like a fucking Like, some, like some sort of gremlin after midnight <laughs> Just fucking chocolate up my nose and everything And I, I, I pull, I've I pulled the pin on the situation I've avoided I've turned down chocolate ah. three times in the last two days. Yeah, Sarah's like, I'm getting another. My wife's like, you getting? I'm getting another shop. Will I? Will I? Uh, will I get another thing of roses? I'm like, really don't. Yeah, I'm done. Fuck. Yeah, yeah it it's real odd. I think. I think. I think it's time for me to get into cheese, man. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! If I, I could... mean, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking grown ass man. Yeah. I can't be eating crisps for the rest of my life. No, and cheese. Gotta be eating cheese like fucking real people do. Cheese is a, is a it's a slippery slope, Jerry. I'll tell you that much though. I'm struggling with the cheese big time these days. I'm fuck. I am. I need the methadone version of cheese. See, I'm a philistine when it comes to cheese. Anybody say what cheese do you oh, like? I'm like, I, you know, give me like a fucking easy singles or something. Oh no, Jerry, 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 Jesus Christ! No, there's. We need to. We need to do a podcast, a cheese podcast, and I'll get a selection of cheeses, st- staging from the very entry level newbie stuff right up to full on black belt. Fuck. <laughs> And Grandmaster Coming in 2017 folks The Tom and Jerry Cheese Spectacular Yeah you bet. <laughs> How, That's the thing Like I'm not I'm the most unswanky fucker In the world But when it comes to cheese I fucking just love it I wouldn't know how to eat cheese Oh I, I'll teach you And you There is nothing better Than beer and cheese I don't give a fuck What they say about wine Wine can fuck right off Good Tasty beer and cheese Especially when you've got a few on yeah, yeah. When you not not from the get go, but when you got a few on, like you're five in, which is a beautiful place to be. If you could live your life five, <laughs> five, five in, five in, because <laughs> you think about it, you could sing a song, or you could be in. Gr- you're always in great mood. Five in, aren't you? There's five? no, there's nowhere you can't go. No, on five, five in. in. Oh my god, it's the beautiful fucking but place. Like, to Tom, be. like you know, when it comes to cheese, all I want if, when you, when they say do I like cheese, I like cheese in a toast sandwich. No, no, no. You you're eating raw cheese. Yeah. Am I the only person in the world that calls it raw cheese? I, yeah, I, I'm, I was going to steamroll over that, actually. Because <laughs> this is not, you don't cook it, you fucking... This isn't fucking sushi, head. you fucking mad bastard. <laughs> I'm, I swear to God, like, I mean, they talk... like I. But this is the thing, you, you know what? You, you helped me stumble onto another subject I was thinking about one day. I was like, well, if you can have sushi bars where they all they're doing is prepping different types of fish and roll it and things and stuff like that and if these fuckos remember the two Northern Irish lads that opened a place in Shoreditch in London the most hipster place on the planet right the two cereal the cereal killers they called it and it's right. just all they serve as cereal okay and I know there's cheesemongers out there but what if you just actually sold it as meals you know what I mean as as snacks that's all you sold was snacks there has to be places doing that Tom I looked it up there's fucking nobody I can't, doing it I can't, I can't, I can't sit here oh there'll be somebody doing it in London I can't believe that like nobody Sells just cheese. I can't find anywhere. If anybody on, if anybody wants to tweet us, if they know of a place that only sells Isn't and sells prep, like the cheese pantry, is that another place? Yeah. No, you're inventing fucking phrase shops now that don't exist. But I guarantee you, they're the cheese monger. I'm not talking about selling people wheels of the stuff. I'm talking about prepping it like a fucking sushi master. I don't know how I'd do it. <laughs> But I'd give it a fucking go. So it sounds but like no, just I, little cubes of cheese I, on a... No, the fact that you're not adverse to cheese is fine. Because that's good. Like, if you were going, oh, I've never tasted cheese and it freaks me out, then we couldn't even attempt this. But I think we definitely, definitely need to take you from stages 1 through 10. I don't like that smelly cheese. Or maybe I have never... I've never really You've had never, it. I'm, trust I me. had blue cheese, I didn't like it. Look... Look, you can't just fucking walk straight into a fucking uh, bar fight, bar, uh, Jerry. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you're gonna have to fucking glass up those knuckles first. Like, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't just stroll in. 
You can't just stroll into can't blue just cheese. Walk in with the big boys. No. I had it on a burger one time. I didn't like it. Really. No, fucking putting it on a burger. Animals, fucking animals, putting fucking blue cheese on a burger on a pizza. But it's bad cheese, Tom. It's not, Jerry. What what they've actually no, it done? It actually is. It's bad. It's gone bad, right? It's, it's not. What they've actually done is they stick copper wire into it. And the copper wire actually fucking oxidises and just leaves a blue tinge in it. Oh. Gives a little fucking twang. That's all it is. Okay, okay. But look, oh, we'll, I didn't know that was what it was. I yeah, like, no, I that's, like that's, copper. That's, that's, hey, there you go. There you go. Look so at look, it. it's it's. I look. We'll we'll do and we'll do it with beer because if you walk straight into it with your fucking palate clean as a whistle, then you won't be ready for the fucking. So you're telling me like cheese, uh, like real good cheese is sort of like abracadabra. That's exactly what it's like. You just need to be locked. If no, you don't need to be locked. You need to be five in. But when you're five in, it's a beautiful place to start with cheese. All right. Okay. And I'm not joking with you. You won't. You'll, you won't. Tur- but then I am warning you of this. Once you step through that fucking looking glass, there's no coming there's back. There's no coming back. You're gonna be cheesing it up left and right. Oh, this is this is her. This is straight up crack. You are hooked immediately. As soon as you taste it, taste the good shit. And I'm not talking about that fucking easy single shit you're talking about, or any fucking even on sale stuff that fucking they're selling with no. I'm talking. I'll get you good shit. We'll get good shit. Have a couple of fucking bits of it, and I'll get I'll get like five or six, or even all the way up to ten different types of good shit. And it'll fucking blow your mind. I'm telling you. And it's it's but it's ultimately Christmassy. That's one thing herself does know. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, have some cheesy. She'll just fucking get me one. Of the, <laughs> she'll just get me the cheese board for Christmas and I'll sit there not talking to anybody just with my Do you have, have you got like a cheese knife set? Yeah, I don't know where the fuck it went though. I don't know what it I, came what to have those little knife. It's like a little assassin's kit. But, but it is, but you know what? You think oh, I'd never use that fucking thing. It is handy as fuck when you're actually milling into it with pints in one hand <laughs> and fucking. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is handy. You got your little kit. You're just sitting there like MacGyver, just working away in the corner, and you don't need to. It's beautiful because you you can just you just fucking you don't need to talk to anybody. You just enjoy that shit by yourself. Okay. It takes, well, it takes you to another place, Jerry. I'm telling you, it's the crack. It's acceptable fucking posh crack is what it is. <laughs> so, cheese. Yeah. You got it. Anybody out there wants to buy us uh, any gifts for, for, for Christmas, you can get me a bit of timber. And Tom over here, you can get him some cheese. Cheese, all the way. Good cheese, too. None of that fucking baby bell fucking scrape. Oh, because all that fucking, uh, that easy single stuff, it doesn't actually classify as cheese. What it is, is it's basically the fucking curds. They've just scraped off the fucking top. Okay, yeah. The top of it, and they just set it aside. Because rennet is what it is. And they used to fuck that away or give it to pigs. And then somebody had the smart idea went, hold on, we tried to sell it to the pros. If we, if, we, <laughs> if we try this out a bit, roll it and slice it into squares, let's see what we can do with it. And right. then it became cheese strings and it became baby bells and it became easy singles. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. There you, there you go. go. I mean, it's been an odd enough hour podcast so far, Tom. We haven't really stuck to any of the uh, conventions no, of the Tom and Jerry show. No, we stuck to any of I'm drunk off fucking football special. That's the problem, Jerry. It is starting to giddy me up a little bit. I, so I'm not cutting, cutting you. I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. I mean, like, you know, if you if you want, like, a conventional Tom and Jerry uh, Christmas special, you can, of course, listen to last year's because we're giving out yards and all Which that. Which is stuff. titled the, the TNG Christmas special. Yeah. It's well, this easy, is the Christmas yeah. special, too, only this is, like, the, the, the weird one that just goes off on, like, tangent yeah. after tangent. So what? I had one that was sort of, like, giving out yards. If you if you're yeah. curious about here, I am, I am. We said we 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 we, we hit this. Yeah, you wrap give up me the show. Yeah, and you we give fuck me off the, home. Exactly. You give me your your you're giving out yards for the giving Christmas out special. yards Christmas we, special. We we'll let people upon their fucking merry way. And you know what it is, Tom? It's not. It's it's one of these things that like I'm not going to go where you think I'm going to go with it. Uh, I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't like this. Well, I can see why you don't like that. No, no, no. I got to explain why I don't like it. Uh, I'm talking about like lighting up your house for Christmas. Oh Jesus, yeah. All right, like proper order, lighting up your house okay. for Christmas. Like this, this, this shit gets more and more every year. Mm. That people want to light up the outside of their houses for Christmas. All right. Yeah. I, I'm not about to tell you. I'm not a bad humbug on any of that kind of shit. If you're sitting okay. here, if you're sitting at home listening to this, and you hear this and go, "Oh shit, McBride doesn't like when you put lights outside your house." All right. Not the case. Not the case, Tom. I think when it's done right. It can be very, very nice. Like the Griswold family Christmas. With the, like the Griswold family Christmas, or like the nice house that does it nicely. It can be a lovely thing. You actually had an interesting fact about National Lampoons the other day. What was it again? Margot's, Margot and watch McCullough's house. The house, house next- uh, if you know National Lampoon's Christmas vacation, the house next door to the Griswolds. Margot and, Margot were yuppies, and Todd's. Yeah, the Todd yuppies. And- yeah, yeah. I know Margot. I know Margot. 
That house is the house from Lethal Weapon. That's the Murtaugh's house. Wow. There you go. By God. They just have that whole street built in uh, in the back lot of some place. In... Really? Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, you can film whatever you want down there. Wow. It's like the, it's like the Fair City set. That's good to know. So, Clark, you know, he did up his house. He went a little overboard. But like, you know, here's the thing, right? I'm not against that. Yeah. I'm not against that. But you know what, Tom? There was a key word I was saying back there. When you do it... Right. right. Yeah. Okay. There's a right way and a wrong fucking way to do everything. Well, let's hear it. And the right way to do anything is to study the job. Yeah. Study how much of any given thing you need. Mm-hmm. Procure those things. They're right not on. cheap. Lights and such like aren't cheap. No. But, you know, you have a couple of Christmases to go. So maybe you buy a bit this year, you buy a bit next year. Yeah. So on and so forth, you build it up. All right. And you do up your house. And you take the time, you set away a Saturday, you do up the thing. What you don't do, Tom, yep. is just fucking vomit lights all over the place. <laughs> with absolutely no fucking... Uh, it does depress me when I see that. No rationale whatsoever. It, I, I thought at first it was, you know, it was my fucking OCD. I, like, I don't have really OCD, but I thought, am I being OCD? Everybody's entitled to fuck. But when you see fucking lights... Like, what fucking kills me is we put up lights last year when we the shop, but by fuck I made sure we put them up, you know those ice clay ones? Right. They were, te- they were fucking pricey things, these yeah, things. Yeah, these things aren't but cheap, so I'm not saying like, oh, I, you have to have the dearest. They're like, no, you don't. I, you, can, I, you, can, you, can, you can We went save to, money. And, that, was, that was about as far as we right. went, right? But I paced the length of the fucking building. Roughly, roughly going, all right, so we have about 16 fucking yards slash meters to get here. We got 20 Because they, they didn't But f- it fucking sends me over the edge When I see them ending And what did you do With the spare four yards of lights I, I brought it straight back over Because there were icicles Nobody would notice And nobody would notice Okay no. So what you don't do is uh, Pace out your house You know And say well I need I need 10 metres of lights mm-hmm. Buy a set That has 16 metres of lights Yeah And then do across the gutters and, and like stop halfway and, up. And, and, and like around one window. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. That's so fucking that's annoying. What that's what I'm talking about. It's like what or 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 worse again, you've ten meters and you go, ah fuck it, I'll get eight. I'll get eight and fuck it it'll do. And no, it'll, that's lopsided. No, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. And do you know like and and, and, and and there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. And people say like, oh you don't want like a hundred uh little statues in your in your garden, you don't want this. If you want that, knock yourself out, go do it, okay? But like try and have them. Try and have some sort of fucking system going yeah, here. I mean, like, try yeah. and have, like, don't have one one uh, bush in the garden covered in lights. Oh, when you have fucking depressing. When you have them. two bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got one bush with a bit of stuff fucked on it. And hey, 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 Tom, how about this, right? Huh. Okay, how about this? Okay, put your lights up. Yeah. Turn them all on. Stand back, and see how it looks. Because you're, you're just telling the world that you're a fucking asshole, basically. Because a lot of people, if you just put your lights up and just switch it on and walk in and say, ah, sure, it'll be grand. Whereas in actual fact, it looks like something that crow shit in the famine. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's like, and everybody that drives past your house is looking and goes like, he fucked them lights onto that bush. Yeah. He didn't look what he was doing. Just like, just give it the once over and see how you're doing. Oh. Like there was a place, there's there's a couple of places I can remember at home, and it was just fucking. There was one that they they were at such a weird angle to this main road between Care and Clanmel that they the guards actually went into him and said, "Listen, you're fucking doing the place up too nice. People are fucking nearly swerving all over the road looking at it." But do you know what it was? They they had gone ape shit, but everything was perfectly. Everything uniform. was just the uniform. They had yeah. a light. They had lights tracking the entirety of the face and soffit. Lovely. Everywhere. I might have. Obviously, they've gotten every angle fucking spot on. It was just. It was a bit fucking over the top, but it was perfectly over the it top. Was, you couldn't have any perfect. argument with it. You because, couldn't. You couldn't. I knew a guy. He did his. He did his house, and he did it with the. Um, you know those rope lights. It's, it's yeah. A, it's like a tube a with tube. lights in it. Yeah. 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 Which is fine. I mean, I I, don't, I prefer high skills. Look, well, you know, what's what. But he did it right, okay? Yeah. He got enough to go all the way around the house, up the eaves and back down and the whole lot. And he had like six foot left over, which is just going to hang there like a fucking horse's cock. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know what he did, Tom? No. He wrapped that six foot of lights in 
silage tape. In black silage to, tape. <laughs> to block it out. To block it out so that whoever it was couldn't see it from the road. Oh, well, you know what? That takes credit. That yeah. is... Uh, and, like, you know, the, the LED lights, so it wasn't going to go and fire out But like the light... That. Just getting onto the lights thing, I know it swings around only at Christmas, but it's just one thing I noticed from gigging up the north. I don't know if you noticed. There must have been a period during the fucking boom where people were building houses where they thought, I'm going to stick a light every three foot in the fucking soffit. Now, the soffit to anybody, if you're looking at your... It's the, it's the, it's the horizontal bit of PVC that'll go back underneath the gutter or behind the gutter the under bit. The bit. Yeah. and people just think it like there's a house I'm not joking we down lighters and things down lighters shooting down only showing up bad blastering is all it's fucking doing <laughs> and, but there was one house I swear to god I counted 36 down lighters I was, I was driving past it for about two minutes it was all the way I was like far for that what moment. is going on god only fucking knows now the only thing I will say they're in uniform, so maybe their lighting system would be fucking better when it comes. You know they'll they'll do the Christmas thing, but there is a guy up the fucking road, and he's not old, and there's no excuse for it. But he, for some reason, sticks Christmas lights on only one place, oh, on one pier. Oh Christ! Around one pier out the front. No. No, Tom. Like, that's just not getting it. Like, what the fuck are you doing? There's so much to go wrong. And, like, you know, you do up your house. You know, it's your house. You can do whatever you want. I don't really care if you use white lights. I don't care if you use colored lights. You don't like, I don't care what you use. I personally, you know, there's lights I don't like. I don't like the blue lights. And it's solely for the reason that you're around a corner and you see those bright blue LED Did lights. You, uh, you've been catching my eye right up there. You right know, up there. You know what a fella thinks when he rounds a corner. It's, it's a fucking squad car. It's a fucking squad car. And <laughs> driving around with no tax. No, no, no tax. And one fucking... There's a light up, I swear to God. Ball at, tires. At this, uh, up at this fucking train station we're at right now. And I've looked about 40 times and Jerry keeps on looking at me because he knows what I'm I looking know, at. I know what you're looking at. And there's a blue, at. solidly blue. It's not flashing, but it is flashing when I dip my head up at the top, up by the fucking train tracks. I don't know why they've got a blue fucking light up there when red ones are everywhere else. It's... But they've got a blue light up there and it's freaking me out every time I look up there because we haven't put a ticket on the car either. Like... You need a 450 ticket. That's the minimum. They can keep it. Yeah. yeah. You need a I minimum mean, this this, like you know things like this. So do whatever. I'm not. I don't care if you put red lights, green lights. I don't give a shit, right? You know what I mean. But have some order to the have fuck. some order to it. Do you know what fucking bugs the shit out of me, Tom? To mm. like an insane degree, right? People put lights around the, the the gutter of their houses. Yeah. And if they've got a bigger house, they might have to put two sets of lights on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, generally, they'll do you the good fucking grace of having them match. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, and oh, fuck. But yeah. when one set is flashing and the other set isn't, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, uh, there's a couple. There's actually a couple. Why can of, you not? Why can you not make the two of them flash? There's a pub. Uh, the two of them there's, solid. There's, what is your fucking problem? There's a pub in the local town to me at home, and it has that all year round. It has the wrong lights, like the non-matching lights around the entire building, and they kind of went, well, we got two, th- we got it like a third of the way in red. Era, fuck it. White ones will do for the rest. White ones, no. And they didn't even get the same length, you know what I mean, of the net. So they got like te- like eight metres of fucking of, of red ones. They got 12 metres of fucking white ones. And then like another three metres of yellow ones to finish it off. And they go around the whole building. And those things stay, no, they stay up all fucking year round. Oh, God, and no. come November, they'll go up, they'll go on. But by fuck, they won't turn them off till fucking late fucking February. What's the, like, what's oh, the, what's the thing? Bastards. I mean, like, it, it, like, the, like common things. Common things I'm talking about are say your lights that are going along the gutter, and again, it's the thing again, Tom. You didn't pace it out right enough, and the cable for those lights have to go into the house some one way or another. Yeah. So generally, they go in through a window up. So allow at least two meters for that anyway. Yeah. But people will run the lights across it and then leave still lights just running to the to the oh, house. You so fucker. it just looks like this no, little. No, and that's the thing. Square root sign Use your fucking brain They let you have At least another two metres In the end With no lights on it With no lights on it Easily yeah. I mean like you know For every If you buy a set of lights That's ten metres It's got twenty metres cable It does yeah you, Yeah. You don't need to be doing this people Just think about what you're fucking doing And I'm not sitting here Saying oh you know It's no. terrible when have, people Have twenty santis in their garden Have fucking twenty santis Do whatever you want No you're, you're dead right In what you're saying Because this, this is, is a, This is laziness thing. Get, get your fucking life in order Because that's a telltale sign If I wanted to just find An asshole in an entire Housing estate To rob <laughs> You know if they're That fucking lackadaisical With their appearance <laughs> At their fucking house They haven't fucking Put stuff away inside well, it's, that's the yeah. one I'm going to break into because they're just gobshites. Like, what, so like, you, like if you if you can't even sort out your fucking exterior illumination display, yeah. If you, yeah, that's the thing. What's if your you, fucking life like? Yeah, what's your life like? 
What's your life like? How are you able to put on one leg of the trousers at the eight morning at the time? How are you able to do that? And honestly, like, I'm not going to rag on people that put, like, antlers on their cars or anything like this. I'm very surprised you don't have antlers on this car. No, no, no. You have antlers every fucking elsewhere. Well, oh yeah, but those are, yeah. <laughs> but those are real. <laughs> those are um, those real. Are, I shot that I was deer. wondering, going, where the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 those are real ones. Herself did put it on the Jeep one time, all right, and I came out and I just left it on for a while, but then she looked in the back <laughs> and there was a fucking carcass. I left it there. <laughs> I left it there for about three fucking hours and then we sat into the fucking Jeep to head back up home and there was a fucking carcass wrapped up in the back with a full head of fucking antlers looking at her. And it was her first... We talked about this, actually. The first time of our... Because we were talking with the, the new cast and they're going, how did you meet herself? And she's from fucking Dublin and how did she take to the country and everything? I was saying it was actually... Christmas was the first time she got to stay down home. I don't know if I told you this, no, this story about how uh, I had to kill the turkeys. Right, okay, yeah, cool. And uh, basically herself, in fairness, she's very, she loves the countryside. She she really does want to live in the countryside and stuff. But the notion can be sometimes fancier than the actual reality of the countryside. So it was, <laughs> everybody wakes up at six o'clock. The parents wake up at six o'clock in, yeah. in the house at home, yes. right? And a the, couple of years ago, the mother, she raised like a dozen turkeys for friends and neighbours. That was their Christmas present. Fair she enough. raised them their homegrown. That's grown. a nice thing. It was a cool thing. You're getting homegrown organic fucking turkeys plucked and raised and they're only from up the fucking road. It was pretty cool. But she'd gotten this new thing because the, the way to, to kill animals, kill chickens once upon a time, and they still do it. It's really quick. It's a bar across the back of the neck. You hold them by the legs, step down on the bar and yank. But click. you just give it a little click. When you get taste at it, the animal is dead in the blink of an eye. It's nice. and But she got an even cleaner machine, right? Essentially what it is, is you bolt it to the wall and it's it's like you'd pull down to press on something, but it's actually a guillotine, but it doesn't do chopping. What it does is you can set it to a point where it stops short of chopping and it just severs the, the spinal cord. But I did set for ducks. <laughs> right. Duck, the duck's necks are... No, sorry, I had set for... I don't know what the fuck animal I had it set for. Anyway, it wasn't set for a turkey neck. Right. The very first one. Now, the job was done nice and quick. Seven. It was like half six in the morning. I let herself sleep in. It was her first time in Tipperary. Let her sleep in. Went out to do this job. Had to kill 12 of these lads. And it's a nice, quick thing. It's a very humane. The thing did the job. In my, in me, like in the blink of an eye, the animal's dead. Nice, Click. gone. Gone, lovely job. It has to be done. It's not nice to fucking do it. It's not nice to talk about it, but it's, it has to be done. Unless you're a fucking vegan, which I, I can appreciate if you are, but I don't, if you're not a vegan, I don't deal with that fucking argument. Right. But what happens? There's still life left in the old bird, even though he's dead. And you've just, you just popped the top off the canister. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's got about a litre and a half of blood left in him, still and... being pumped. Yes. And I'm holding him by the fucking legs going fucking batshit crazy with the wings, everything. The whole place turns into like a scene out of fucking Michael Myers' fucking wet dreams, right? We got a squirter. There's a... Like, this is... The whole purpose of this thing is that it doesn't do that. It's nice and clean. It just cracks their fucking Click. spine. And that's it. Job done. But this first one, the setting was wrong. It, was, oh, it closed too much, basically. So it chopped rather than just... Right. So I covered in fucking blood, get on with the job, pluck, kill them all, but reset it, kill them all nice and clean. Pluck the whole thing, the whole lot. Job all done by about fucking, <laughs> by about 20 past days. I go inside, it's all Christmassy music playing, there's a smell of fucking cloves <laughs> and fucking ginger in the air. I had, what oh. I didn't realize, I went in to wash my hands, forgetting, nah, I'm, I'm all right, changed the shirt, the whole lot. I was like, I, this is all right, grand, I'll have a shower in a bit, but sure, I've cleaned up the job, this is fine. Forgetting that my face was covered was the first thing to get sprayed with all this fucking blood. I went up to wake herself up like the little, like a little kitten. Like How a little are you kitten. doing, Pat? How you doing, Pat? Good morning. Nice, nice. I had a nice little mocha did you, fucking did coffee. You have, did you have a nice? Sleep? Did you have a nice sleep? Little mocha coffee with cream and everything. Little fucking sprinkles of fucking cinnamon. It was, it was so Christmassy. She, <laughs> she just opened her eyes to fucking this guy with blood running down his fucking face. <laughs> Every square millimetre of my face had blood all over it. It was fucking horrendous. I thought I'd gotten it nice and clean, changed my shirt, but yet completely forgot. Because you don't look in the fucking mirrors in Tipperary. You're just like, yeah. These yeah, guys are like vampires what, in Tipperary. What the fuck? No reflection. What have I to be looking at? That's the way we look at it. <laughs> what the fuck have I to be looking at? Why does my face taste funny? I was, I was, but in fairness to her, she stuck with me. She was like, mother of divine Jesus. She shot up out of the bed. I'm like, what, 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 what's wrong? She's like, have you, what the fuck has happened? Because she knew nothing about this job that was happening this morning. 
She goes, what the fuck is all over your face? Is that beetroot juice or something? Because you couldn't... What? What? And you're like, right, yeah. So yeah. It it's like, at that. no, I had to tell her straight out. I was like, oh, yeah, I've been out all morning killing fucking turkeys. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. click, click, click. But yeah, no, I knew she was a keeper from that Well, Christmas. you were laying around doing nothing. I knew she was a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get up out of that. Yeah, before, yeah. The next Some of us have a day's work done. In fairness, I, now I taught her how to pluck a fucking turkey. She, yeah, she was up the following, following year and she was stuck to the task... It wasn't. It wasn't as messy, to be fair. Like there was no blood flying everywhere and everything. But it was a good test. That's how you know you. you gotta, that's what you do at Christmas time. Bring your missus home, cover your face in blood, and wake her up. And that's just how you know you got to keep her. Tongue. See if she'll stick with you after that. Got to keep her. So it's just, it just a girl that can get up and just click the next of twelve turkeys. <laughs> just just, like it ain't no thing. Like it ain't no thing. But a turkey wing. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. I don't know what to tell you more about exterior illumination. But yeah, look, that's uh, the you, thing. You, and, and, don't do it. Look, if you're if you're if you're gonna do it, a shit job. Don't if, fucking yeah, do it at just all. Don't do it at all. Don't do it at all. Save yourself a few bobs. This is decorating your house. Like, put a bit of fucking effort in. Because nobody's gonna go off oh, fair play to him. And this this also nobody goes to, is. This also goes to the trees as well in your house. You generally don't see too much of somebody's tree. You drive past it, it's there. Or it's not. There's just one tree uh, that I do see. Are you real tree or fake tree? Uh, we're fake tree just for for tidiness. Yeah. Sake. Yeah, yeah. I saw a guy. Oh, it was amazing. I saw a guy the other day selling Christmas trees. He he pulled the trailer of Christmas trees with a fucking micro. By the way, I have to say, in this and micro. Boy. But I'm not. It was price. It was sun, Sunday morning. That the Sunday just gone, and he the beard pulled down. Right, he was dressed as Santa Claus. Good suit too. Okay. In fairness, right, really putting the effort in. But he was probably getting before the the tree tr- the tree rush. He thought he'd get his early morning fag in. He had the beard pulled down to under his chin and was smoking and away. He was just horsing a fag while leaning up against the fucking micro. It was just Atta beautiful. Boy. It was absolutely fucking beautiful. And I tell you, you know, real, real or fake, I don't really care what you go for. You know, hey, people have people don't like the messiness of a real tree, but then people don't like the smell of a plastic tree. Look, you, you're gonna find a yeah. middle ground somewhere. Away. I tell you one thing: just tree I do, I do I drive past every now and then, and it's done up lovely with like white lights, all white lights, okay? Mm-hmm. And it's done lovely, and for what? Ever fucking Where have reason. they got this tree that you in can the see? Oh, oh right, next door or one of your neighbours like. It's not it's not even a neighbour at all, it's just on the way home at times. Mm. If if I drive home this way, this tree I can see. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. Got the they've got the, the tree, it's in the window, they've got like uh the white lights on it, it all looks like for whatever fucking reason, Tom, they've thrown I mean thrown one single strand. I'm not a strand from top to bottom, I'm talking like maybe five foot tops. Of, of blue lights around the middle. How could you live with yourself, like? If, why, why bother? How could you live with yourself? Like, how could you that... fucking look at that in the window and say, I like that? But, like, if to sit there, like, where's your fucking brain at? If you can sit in the sitting room watching the fucking telly and all the time there's just... You said, like, they didn't try and get it around. It. No, it's, it's just, just fucked there. It's fucked up on top. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, you know, okay. You, 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 you've, you've given up on life is what given, you have. Yeah, you've, you've given you've, up on you've, life. You've got your fucking tree... And you find you look in the box after all said and done, and you're like, uh, "What have we left?" Well, we've a we've this strand of blue lights, but like, we don't really have anywhere to put it. Put it back in the box. Jesus Christ! See, this we is, don't have to use it. See, this is the thing. Like, I mean, if you're, it's like, not going to go bad. As a comedian, if if when you know what I mean, you learn that you're like, well, do you have an hour of material? Like, oh, gotta do. You may have fifty minutes. Of good stuff and one ten minutes of you're as well to just pull up on the fifty minutes and go, Jeez, that's yeah, all I have. 50 minutes, yeah. Because bye bye, good luck. That one ten minutes or five minutes of shit It's gonna sink the whole thing. It'll sink the whole fucking ship. And it's the same with those lights you're talking about. Yeah. What just are you like, doing? What are you doing? You fine tree and you fucked it now. You by fucked tree. it up just because you were like, Oh well sure, I have to use the blue lights. You fucking don't. You don't. You don't. No, no, I'm one hundred percent in agreement with you there. If you're not gonna fucking do it right, don't fucking do it at don't all. Don't do it all. Spoils Christmas, folks. <laughs> We've talked about a lot of things at this podcast, killing turkeys, broken ribs, but you know what spoils Christmas? What's that? Fucking up your tree. You're dead right. Just because you didn't, you, you were like, oh, I bet they use the blue lights. <laughs> They'll go bad. They'll be sad in the box by themselves. Again, another fucker using blue lights trying to scare the shit out of people across the way. Who yeah, don't catch- you know McBride's no NCT? Don't you know, the, oh man, he's got no fucking tax and my NCT is out in February. We don't have a legal car between us, people. No. <laughs> and we intend never to. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to one and all. We are football specialed up to. Bits. We're going to put up pictures of the of the presents and the football special. And if anybody has any tidings of goodwill 
or wants to fill us in on cheeses or nine by threes. Or if there's anyone in Cool Mine train station right now that wants a good time, I believe it's the dog and capital of the world. Yeah, well, fucking keep looking. <laughs> you know, this would be the shittest dog and mission of all time. You'd be just standing there going, these two miserable fucks. you got to understand, Tom, that we are in the dog and capital of West Dublin and we've been talking in a car. That's now the half. windows are all steamed. Windows are all steamed up. It looks like uh, we rid ourselves in Titanic. It uh, <laughs> just for the laugh, I'm going to take my shoe off and put a footprint on the windscreen here. Don't you fucking and I'll let you explain Don't it to somebody. <laughs> I'll explain it to my fucking fiance. That's what I'll have to fucking do. All right, let's, <laughs> for was, another year down, Jerry. Let's let's wrap it up and say goodbye to these good people. They've all got fucking lives and homes to go to. Yeah, and I do hope you all have a great Christmas. Yeah, have a great. Christmas. I don't know what to tell you. Have people a should be Christmas. off work. Please God, they're off work at this stage and they're listening to this. They're listening to this while they're wrapping presents. Get a fucking drink into you too while you're at it. And if you've any sense, you can don't get... overthink the wrapping. Like fools got page in a rubber band. I was happy out because I knew what was going to be inside was awesome. What's odd? You know, all good. All right. Well, have a happy Christmas, everybody. We'll see you in New Year. Yeah, and don't 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 do twelve pubs at Christmas. It's oh, don't yeah. don't don't. We, don't. we, about that we talked about that last year. Just no. Most of our, at least, uh, we have a fine reserve of good quality listeners. I've noted they're good quality people. They're good people. They don't do asshole they don't do fucking moves like that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be listening to us because they know they're good quality people. Okay. I like they that. might be yeah. deviants like us, dodging fucking tax and whatnot. But look, that's all right. Drink more football special. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.